You can feel him, can't you? He's all around us. Sam Raimi, back. Ready to save the MCU from itself. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being dramatic. The MCU doesn't need saving. It's It hasn't slowed down, although I think Eternals kind of hurt it a little bit. This new Doctor Strange, though, is definitely the shot in the arm the MCU needs. Man, this looks good. I'm not here to be a contrarian. When I see a trailer that wows me, I'm going to let you know. This will probably be a short video. I don't have a lot of insight to share with you. I'm not a comic book person. I've heard words thrown around like Illuminati and can't think of anything else right now. But they were saying stuff online. Stuff was being said. What we have here is an interesting, intriguing character who's in a whole lot of trouble. He's made a mess of things. It sounds like his arrogance is finally catching up. And Mr. Strange, sorry, doctor, he didn't go to Marvel University Medical School to be called Mr. Thank you very much. He has to clean this shit up. We got Wanda back, AKA Scarlet Witch, AKA Elizabeth Olsen, AKA my love. The one that got away. The one I will never have. <laughs> Just keep, keep dreaming, Adam. You gotta have goals. You gotta have goals. What you see on display is what happens when you give a visionary director carte blanche to do whatever the hell he wants. And it looks like Sam Raimi's going full Raimi here. We have insane visuals. Doctor Strange, the original, looked kind of like an Inception light to me. Yeah, there was cool kaleidoscopish effects happening, but this is ratcheted up like 200%. Plus all the Easter eggs and characters being thrown into this. Now, before you shut me down, I'll shut myself down. I don't like fan service just for the sake of it, just for the cheap wow factor. I love fan service when it's applicable, when it's appropriate, when it makes sense for the story. So having a possible cameo by Deadpool, having a Tom Cruise super Iron Man or whatever the hell the internet's calling him, having a Rambo play a new Captain Marvel variant, there's a lot of awesome ideas on display here. A lot of, a lot of potentials that could be cool if they help further the story, if they're in service of the plot. Now the big thing, the big thing that I think is hard to debate is Sir Patrick Stewart's voice in a part of this trailer, is his, his deep baritone, his rich enunciation. The back of his uh, beautifully bald head, it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell what's going on, but if Professor Xavier's back, <laughs> we're opening up a world of possibilities. That means the X-Men are in this, the mutants. Do we port over Fox's shit or are we starting from scratch? Clearly there's crossover. My theory, if Xavier's in this, we get Logan. We do get Hugh Jackman. We do get Ryan Reynolds. We get that team up, that square off we wanted to see for like a decade or two. And Hugh Jackman finally gets to be part of the MCU, which he said he wanted to in the past. We know looks can be deceiving, so I'm gonna say the movie looks dark, it looks intense, but Marvel has a way of kind of making that up. Kind of, you know, we saw what happened with Age of Ultron. Movie I enjoy, but not the one I was really promised in the trailers. I do think Raimi is absolutely gonna deliver in this. It looks to be an exciting, action-packed, amazing experience, a visual feast for the eyes. Listen, the internet's already speculated far harder than I ever could. I'm not here to do that. I'm just giving you my two cents on this trailer so far. It's really exciting me for what's to come. I think Doctor Strange, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, has become one of the favorites from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, especially since Iron Man Robert Downey's gone. We look to him. Plus, whenever he does his moves, he just does all this crazy shit. And he does it with ease. He does it with such, such pageantry. It's a celebration, and I'm here for it. Let me know what you think about the madness in the comments below. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you feel at home here. I post movie content constantly, and hopefully I'll see you around. As far as the rumor, that Tom Cruise could be in this as an Iron Man variant. I mean, holy crap, that would be awesome. Talk about meta on top of meta. They originally wanted TC for Iron Man, but I believe he turned it down or there was scheduling conflicts or something. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there, but he was in the running at one point. Do they have the cojones to bring Robert Downey back for a cameo? It's another possibility, short for possibility. I'm rambling. You can find other videos, uh, subscription stuff. Join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I'll be here, I'll be here.